All right. So if we talk about the B cell maturation, then this whole process is actually happening inside the bone marrow. And it takes about, say, one to two weeks in total to complete the whole process. And another important fact is that this B cell maturation phase, this is not governed by any antigen. So this is an antigen independent phase. So what happens is that the progenitor B cell, which is formed from the stem cell. So this is the progenitor B cell. And this is being formed from the stem cells. That is the lymphoid progenitor cells. So the progenitor B cells or pro B cell has the receptor, which is Ig alpha and Ig beta. So this marks a cell that it is the progenitor B cell. And this Ig alpha and Ig beta, they are bound together by disulfide bonds. Next what happens is that this pro B cell, this is converted into something called the pre B cell or the precursor B cell. Now, during this conversion, what happens? There is VDJ recombination. VDJ recombination. Now, VDJ recombination, what it does, it rearranges the heavy chain of uh, uh, the heavy chain of the uh, IgM, and it produces it onto the surface of the pre B cell that is this blue one. This is the heavy chain of mu or IgM. And since the, the IgM or the heavy chain needs a light chain as well, the light chain is not yet rearranged. That is why this heavy chain takes up a surrogate light chain. I mean, the surrogate light chain, this is not, this is not the light chain for the um, heavy chain of the mu or the IgM. Now, this whole process, this VDG recombination, this is accompanied or this is catalyzed by two enzymes, which are called RAG1 and RAG2. So this catalyzes the rearrangement of the heavy chain. Now this surrogate light chain, which I talked about, this is lambda 5 and V pre B proteins. These two make up the surrogate light chain. And another very important thing that if there is failure of recombination in this process, that is the VDJ recombination fails, then the cell would undergo apoptosis. And that is why this step is also called the first checkpoint. That means this is the checkpoint where, the, uh, where it is assessed whether the B cell is being formed correctly or not. So this is the VDG recombination is the first checkpoint. Next what happens, the light chain gene also starts to rearrange and there is another VDG recombination. Now this is for the light chain and the surrogate light chain, which was over here, the surrogate light chain, it, it, it pulls, it pulls itself off and the light chain of the actual IgM is now being replaced in place of the surrogate light chain. 
So this is now the whole IgM molecule. So this VDJ recombination after which the IgM is completely formed, we call this cell to be the immature B cell. And mind it, all of these processes are going on inside the bone marrow. Next, from the immature B cell, what happens? There is another process in the genes which is called the alternative splicing. Alternative splicing in the uh, Ig immunoglobulin genes. And this creates and expresses the final molecule which is the IgD molecule onto the surface of the B cell. Now this, this cell which is having the IgM, the IgD and also the Ig alpha and Ig beta, this cell is referred to as the mature naive B cell. And after this mature naive B cell is formed, this goes on and leaves the bone marrow. This leaves the bone marrow and goes into the circulating blood and goes into the secondary lymphoid organs. Where it is, uh, where it is exposed to different antigens and the activation phase begins.